Here I, was, I wanted to do a review on my Scar Audio. It's a ZVX V2, 900 watts RMS, 1100 peak, dual 2 ohm, bridge to 1 ohm. On a older, I don't have a lot of info on this amp. I do know it's a 2000 watt Soundstream Tarantula. And uh, I built the box on a CNC machine. I used a Fusion 360 to design it so I could get all the volume correct and the port correct and uh, just the single eight I'll walk around to the other side I figured instead of doing a review on it when I first got it I might as well just beat the shit out of it you know and this is uh, within a week of being a year that I did the install it's just a work truck so everything's thrown in here wires just kind of laid everywhere uh, stock charging system it's uh, nothing pretty, but who cares? So yeah. So there's the box made out of stacked rings, then painted with a textured paint from uh, Walmart, I believe. So I guess I'll uh, shut up and do this. So far, I've really liked it. For the price, I think it was a $169, $170. So I'm gonna uh, start off with a 100 hertz test tone and work down from there. Uh, my volume. I'll leave the volume at 12. Um, if you hear any crackling stuff, it's probably that speaker over there. It's a, I think it's about done. So here we go. I'll run through these quick. And then uh, try some music on here. Uh, the music I'm using I pulled off of uh, YouTube's uh, royalty free thing. So I'll bring that up. But uh, the price wasn't bad. And it does better than the 212, 212 inch kickers I had in here. And a box I'd made. I do. If I keep the truck, I plan on putting maybe four of those in here. They'll be firing down, and then the box will be designed to take up the whole backspace of the truck. I'm sure the comments on this stuff's going to be wonderful, but yeah.
That's my one year review of the SCAR ZVX V2. Um, fits my budget and uh, I think 